CNBC interview is the president and CEO of Land's End, Jerome Griffin. Jerome, it's good to have you. Thank you for joining us today. And is the listen, just anecdotally, if we're talking about the Northeast, it's getting pretty cold out there. I mean, is this all something that's going to be part of the past or part of the future? You know, normally we don't really talk about weather because there's weather every year. However, it has been an unseasonably warm November so far, and uh, we think there's still cold weather down the, down the road. And uh, as we go through the quarter, we'll see how it goes. Sure. So, you know, obviously that means it's a, a tough start, um, you know, for the outdoor business. But is there any sense that because people are going to try to go bundle up at restaurants to eat outside or to just get outside because that's the only thing you can do these days? I mean, I'm surprised there isn't more of a COVID pandemic driven uh, boost in getting outdoors. Well, I think everyone's seen a big shift in consumer behavior over the last few months as of way everybody's shopping online. And, and what we think is that, uh, you know, our business is extremely resilient. We've been really pleased with what we've seen over the last several months. And to be able to put in results like we put in for quarter three, uh, we were extremely pleased with. Uh, outerwear is only one part of our business. You know, what we've seen trend-wise is people looking for comfort. Knit tops, sleepwear, loungewear, activewear, slippers, robes uh, have been big categories for us trending over the last few months. And our sense is that they're going to continue to trend into the fourth quarter and then into the next year. Uh, we're not really sure when we're going to come out of COVID as, as uh, we look at it right now. Everybody's still working from home. People aren't traveling as much and people aren't commuting as much. Yeah. It, you, to your point about e-commerce, you're up 20 percent there globally. International e-commerce up 51 percent. So obviously yeah. uh, a bright spot there. Um, I am curious. I don't know. I assume you guys do business with UPS, but we all learned that they're putting a lot of restrictions and limits now on some of their customers. How is that affecting you? We've known about this for months and have been in close contact with UPS and the United States Postal Service to uh, work through any mitigation that would uh, negatively affect the consumer. Yes, there are surcharges that are being put on top of us, and yes, there are shipping, uh, shipping limits. But you know, we're aware of this and working very closely with our partners. The one thing I think that's important for consumers to be aware of: you're going to need to shop earlier this year because cutoff dates for shipping and getting product to home before Christmas deadline is uh, a lot sooner, December 15th, right now. So for you guys, it's December 15th. Is that right? Yes. So my final question then, as we kind of just look at the evolution of these businesses, is what's it been like trying to grow your e-commerce business while experiencing all of this demand this year and trying to manage uh, shipping and so forth? And I assume a lot of your workforce is itself affected by COVID. Um, as we look at the cloud companies in particular today who say they're all seeing huge accelerations in growth as companies kind of transform their operations, has Land's End been one of them? It's been great, I got to say. You know, this is my 41st Christmas uh, in the business, and everyone presents uh, new, interesting challenges. Uh, with this year, you know, being in the e-commerce business has been great. As you can see, we've put in big increases over over last year, and are really benefiting from new consumer behavior patterns, which we think will continue. I think what's important is as we come out of COVID to be able to anticipate what the new customer. Um, behaviors are going to be like and be able to match that. But when it comes to this quarter, you know, I think it's still going to end up being a pretty good Christmas season. All right. Fair enough. Jerome Griffith, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.